Okay, activity 3.3 on page, the page is 48. We have an array called AO Numbers, and we're going to open our program, which is in the Counters folder. There it is. And we have to display the, uh, how many even and odd numbers we have. Now, do they want us to display the even numbers and the odd numbers? No, they just want us to count the number of even, count the number of odd, and display it. So let's do that. Right, even, odd. Right, I'm going to start off with variables. I count even and I count odd. Integer. And maybe we'll start off with a for loop counter because we are going to go through every single box. And if we know we're going to go through every single box, we definitely use a for loop counter. For k equals 1, 2, 10, we still... Whoa. What array are we dealing with, guys? 25 boxes. There's 25 and a whole lot of them are put in there. And we're not going to go and read all of those. But we've got to say for k equals 25, we're dealing with a different array. It's a larger array. But we don't worry about that because we've got a for loop will do everything for us. Now, we're going to ask for each box, we want to see if that box number is even or not. And the operator we use, numerical operator, you know you have multiplication, divided, addition, subtraction, and then you have mod and div. Mod and div are operators, mathematical operators. We're going to use that, we're going to say if. K is going to, box number K, AR numbers, box number K. If that number, mod 2 equals naught, then we're going to increment our R count even. Else, well, fortunately for us, there's only two options, odd or even, R count odd. And numbers are either going to be odd, or it will be even, and that is a very fortunate circumstance. Fact. We do need to make our count even equal to naught beforehand. If we don't do that, then our counters will have random numbers, very large random numbers. If you don't believe me, you can put a show message and see. Without, we won't do that now. <coughs> so that is it. That's all there is to it. We can then just display. Take note of this terminology, A on numbers K. That is the array box number. We can then display it where they want us to display it. We have to make sure. Um, and they don't say where, but obviously there's a Richard at there, so we'll use that one. That one there, already out. Dot lines, dot add. Odd numbers equal Join that to into string. And you can put the even numbers first if you want. And then just copy and paste the line so that it's quicker.
not. So we can run the program and see what it does. Actually, it has or um, it has got a display component, a display procedure. Let's have a look where the display procedure. I'm assuming it's in the on create event or on activate. There's on show, on show, and on create, and on activate are all the same thing. So there they just displayed all the numbers one after the other. Might be a good idea to clear our rich edit so that we can see our counters, I mean how many odd and even numbers there are. And the number of odd and even numbers should add up to 25, which it does. <clears throat> so the next one is about negative and positive. Determine and display the number of negative and positive numbers. Zero is neither negative nor is it positive. Fine. <clears throat> we want the number of negatives and number of positive numbers that there are. This is all about counting. Which means we will have counters and just in the previous example, the same story. We make some variables. I count pos and I count neg. I'm just making those variables and a for loop counter k. And then we will have a for loop going through each box from 1 to 25 and we will do begin and end and that is the end of that. 